So on this video, we're looking at NAS 100 on the daily time frame. So looking at the previous structure, we were pushing to the upside, as you can see from this point here, we created this lower low, and then we started creating higher highs and higher lows around this point. And then the first break of structure to initially uh, create those uh, downtrends was this area here. This was our first break of structure. And then after getting that break, break of structure, we got like a supply area here, the last candle that broke structure. And then we got another break of structure, which is this one. And then the last candle that broke structure, that broke structure was around this point here. But you can see that on the lower time frame. And then we had like another break of structure of which it was around this point here. And then after having that break of structure, we had the substructure pushing to the upside to create that lower high. And then after that, this is the lower low that we had. This is the lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then around this point, we are looking for that lower high so that we can have a lower low pushing to the downside. And then looking left or on the previous price action, you can see that we have a few areas that we can target if we get like a clear move on the top side. So this is the area that we can target. This is an imbalanced price action. As you can see, we haven't really tapped that demand area. And then looking at the current market structure on the daily time frame, let me just remove a few of these. And then looking at this area here, we have this supply area around this point. There's a supply area that we can target. And then we previously had another supply area around this point here, whereby the market has just pushed to the upside, maybe to fill this imbalanced price action, which is this one here. You can just put an IMB just like that. And then looking at this substructure, you can see that we were pushing to the upside, creating higher highs and higher lows. And then you can just use in IMB or a BOS at the top of the structure, just like that. So now we are just going to focus on this area here. And then as you can see here on this area here, we were creating higher highs and higher lows. And then we had the first break of structure, which is this one, we created the higher high. And then we broke structure around this point here. So this is the BOS that we have. And then the last candle that broke structure, of which is this one here, the momentum came from this area here, the one that gave us this nice push to the downside. So initially what I'll be looking for is a selling opportunity around that point. So looking at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, we can just look left and then see if we can just try and refine like the overall structure around this point. So this is the last candle that broke structure around this point. If you refine it on the hour time frame and then refining this area here, you can see that we have some type of a supply area also around this point, just like that. And then looking at the current market structure, let's see how we tapped the area. So looking at the current market structure, we just tapped the area and then we initially pushed to the downside. And then this was the second break of structure just because we had like this as our break of structure also. And then we had this one as our break of structure. So initially, let's try and look at the 15 minute or the 30 minute and then see if we can find an entry. So around this point, if we try and refine the last candle, it's this one here. So you can just try and refine it from this last candle here. And then initially what I'll do is that I'll just remove this box here. So we are left with this candle here and then we had a, an imbalanced price action around this point here. Let me just do this. So what I'll be looking for is a tab within this area here for us to take a sell. And then as you can see around this point, we have some type of liquidity happening. You can just draw that out. And then I think this is sufficient price action or this is efficient price action. I don't think the market will just push to the upside just because we have efficient price action at the top of the structure. So initially we can look for those selling opportunities in the midpoint and then we can just target the lows 
let's see, we can just target this area here. We can just target this point here. So this is the current trade that I think we can just have. And then initially we haven't tapped the area and then I can see that we are pushing to the downside at the moment. So let's see. So we haven't tapped the area if you just focus on this point here. So yeah, that is why, that is how I'm looking at NASDAQ at the moment. And yeah, guys, I'll see you on another video.